Hey guys, this is part two um, of my YouTube videos that I want to do, but I want to talk tonight about, okay, this is going to be a little bit, a uh, little levity, a little fun, but some seriousness. But the number one thing black women need to stop doing as it relates to black boys and men, okay? So buckle up for this. Um, first of all, I want to ask you, how many of you saw the Scandal season finale last week and the Mama Pope monologue? Now, for those of you who don't watch Scandal, I want you to go Google Mama Pope, P-O-P-E, that's Olivia's mama, and Mama Pope's monologue. Or if you go on Twitter or Facebook, it was posted gazillions of times because Mama Pope went on this amazing monologue about two, three minutes long where she talked about black men and how black men do not do well with black women and are trying to be helpmates, um, supporters, encouragers, etc. And this is important for those men who've gotten here on YouTube and, and made horrendous videos, said horrendous things about black women and, and talked about us in very ungodly, unholy, uh, illegal, unlawful ways. And um, I want you to really watch that monologue because although it was television, she spoke a lot of truth about what is the problem between black men and black women in real time. And, you know, I've been thinking about this a lot because, again, I got pulled into this mess. This isn't something that I do. It isn't something that I care about and found myself embroiled in some foolishness um, at the hands of some people who aren't worth the oxygen that I'm expending talking about it at the moment. But I thought a lot about it. Like, why would black men write books about black women and say bad things about them when black women are their mothers? Why would black men always have something negative to say? Why would they always boast about choosing another woman of another race over black women? What's all the vitriol and all the anger about towards black women? And Mama Pope nailed it in her monologue. And let me break down a little bit what I think. And the number one thing I want to beg black women to stop doing, I see it in my own family. I've done it. I see it in the, in the families of my friends and my sorority sisters. Um, many of us get together and we lament about having brothers or uncles or men in the family who can't keep jobs, how we're always having to lend the money, they never pay it back. They, they go around and they're getting, you know, uh, babies out of wedlock. They, they can't kind of keep a job. They're not responsible. And they go and lay up on their elderly mothers. Uh, one of my dear mentors, Dr. Julianne Malvo, you all know her, was telling me about a member of her family who, um, you know, same thing, can't keep a job, always asking his sisters for money, always asking family friends for money. And even uh, one of uh, their family friends, his elderly mother, she was saying how, you know, he'll go and take her grocery money and not be responsible. And I'm like, what is this guy, like 18, 19 years old? No, this is a 50-year-old man. And so these stories are so common. And I really begin to ask myself, what is the problem with our brothers? Now, this is not all brothers. I hope it's not most but a lot of what I've watched, and I've really taken the time to read uh, the, the comments on you know hundreds of videos. I've taken the time to read uh, the blogs and kind of look at why everybody's so pissed off. And I think that for women, for black women, I would have to look at us for a moment and say, we're a big part of the problem in this way. We are always trying to fix, protect, um, hide, cover our sons, our brothers, our nephews, our fathers, our uncles, etc. Because we understand implicitly better than anybody how serious racism is, how serious it is that our sons or brothers could be literally stopped on the street walking while black, in a car while black, waiting for an Uber car now while black and being stabbed. And I think we overcompensate. And what we're doing, ladies, is we're producing weak men. What we're doing, ladies, is we are not allowing these boys to grow up to be men and give them the tough love with the balance of love, but we try to fix it. And it's not our place. It's really out of order for a woman to be trying to fix a man because that's not our job. That's not our calling. You can love, you can encourage, you can uh, push, 
but fix is not our job. And I think that this carries in, in our relationships and in our marriages, and it makes for a mess. And what Mama Pope was saying in her dialogue was, is that black men resent us for helping them. They resent us for being their cheerleaders. They resent us because in many ways they probably feel emasculated. They want to do it on their own. And perhaps with Caucasian women and other women, they feel like they're more of a man because of what has happened to our families and our relationships because of slavery through Jim Crow. I mean, I really have been thinking about this a lot because it troubles me because I don't like seeing black men and black women cuss each other and fight each other. And some of the comments on the blogs, on the comment post on YouTube are awful on both sides. I've seen black women write some things and I'm like, man, wow, somebody really did her dirty. Somebody really hurt this person because every other word is a bleep, 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 mother bleep, this bleep, that bleep, bleep, bleep. And there's a lot of anger there. Uh, a lot of black women have been sexually abused. I talk about this at length in my first book a lot. Like it's like four in 10 or five in 10 in our community. Some believe that number's higher. And it's the pushing down to always cover and protect the brothers that so many sisters are angry with. And for the brothers, look, I can't speak for them because I'm not a man. I don't know um, what that experience is like, but I do know what it's like to be black in America. I do know what it's like to be a female in America and to be less than on both accounts, black and female. And so what I would simply say uh, to us is that, again, what I said in an earlier video about the death of that young ROTC officer, Richard Collins, is that we have to do better at loving each other and helping each other and knowing that we're in this together versus attacking each other and being divided because every other race is ahead of us now. Hispanics have more um, wealth, uh, what we call the wealth gap, what we call uh, you know what people own not what they earn, but what they have in investments, what they have in property. Every ethnic group has more than us as African Americans, every ethnic group, and that's troubling. Uh, we've been here a long time. We should have more wealth. We should have stronger families. We should own more property. We should own more businesses. We should have our own hotels, our own banks, as every other group of people does to help each other, but yet we get on YouTube and we say disgusting things to one another. We threaten and menace one another. And it seems to me that the brothers in particular are doing a finger pointing game at the very women who have birthed you, helped you, loved you and stood by you. And because of insecurities and whatever else is going on, you turn on the very person that loves you. There was a brother and I wish I knew his name, but he did a video on YouTube um, probably a few months ago when he was talking about all this, and, he, and he's an African gentleman, and he really went on, in on American black men and talked about how in his culture this just doesn't happen and that the only friend the black man has in America is the black woman. The only cheerleader the black man has in, in America is the black woman. And he was saying that how stupid it is to turn on the only person who actually cares about you and loves you and beat them, abuse them, malign them. And so I just kind of wanted to say, sisters, that we have to stop. Because again, I've gotten angry with my mother about it. She's gotten angry with her mother about it. Aunts, cousins, friends, whatever. We all lament it how we'll watch our mothers or our grandmothers, you know, coddle up uh, a son or a nephew or whatever that is worthless that won't get a job, that's in and out of jail, that keeps bringing home babies, and, and they keep making excuses, and they keep writing checks, and it's not fixing the problem. And the reason so many good black women don't have black men, and you know, we should have that dialogue someday. Instead of brothers getting on here and saying the most unbelievably hurtful, horrific, ugly things and blaming your shortcomings on black women, we should really have the dialogue about this hyper-masculinity and this, um, this notion of how black men really have a love-hate relationship with their mothers because their mothers love them, support them, help them, but there's a part of that growing up. Too many of our men without dads or seeing positive male role models have so many black women around them who are grinding, working hard, uh, doing what needs to be done that there's this resentment factor. 
And that's really unfortunate. And it's a real slap in the face to black women who are, they didn't leave, they didn't run away. They stayed, they fed their kids, they made sure their kids had food to eat. They made sure their kids went to school. They made sure their kids had shoes on their feet and clothes on their back. We need to rethink this thing, y'all. And black women, we are part of the problem because we keep enabling really bad behavior on the part of black men. And then we wonder why they don't turn out right and they're not the men that we need and they're not the men that we deserve because they've been weakened, they've been made excuses for, uh, they've been given a pass, um, they're not held accountable, they don't have to own their mistakes, they don't have to deal with their consequences. Why am I, why are you fixing your brother's mess or your uncle's mess or your daddy's mess or your son's mess? That's not your job. That's their job as a man. Again, you can love, you can encourage, you can support, but there comes a point when enough is enough. And I do agree that black women have to open their options. Look, at the end of the day, you just want a man that loves you. You want a good man. It don't matter if he's white, black, uh, yellow, or red. What you want is a man that loves and respects you. And I don't believe in this, and, and the brothers don't do it, so certainly we shouldn't. Uh, why would you wait around for somebody to recognize you? Why would you wait around for somebody to respect you? That's crazy. Go where the love is. Y'all know how I like to say it, right? Go where the love is. Because the love is what makes you free. But we as black women have got to stop what we do. We love our sons and we raise our daughters. And we're raising a generation of girls now who are um, engaging now in same-sex relationships, who are broken, who are um, angry, who uh, feel left out, neglected because they see their families uh, give the men all the attention, they give them excuses, but when it comes to them, it's like, girl, you better do it, you better be able to take care of yourself. Men, if you wanna know what's wrong, you wanna know why so many sisters are strong and independent and, and maybe you see that as a negative, it's because they don't have a choice. That's the real dirty little secret here. No woman, no woman wants to, um, no woman, I, I'm going to say this now, some may disagree, but I just don't think there's a woman who really wants to work like a dog by herself and be strong all the time by herself and, and be by herself. That's not real. That's not human. But it's what's happening to too many of us for the reasons I just mentioned. So Google Mama Pope's dialogue, monologue, give me some comments. Let's keep it clean, folks. There's no need for violence and cussing and all this ugliness. Have a discussion. But I really would like to know what the sisters think of that and the gentlemen as well, um, because I think it was powerful and I think she broke it down of what is wrong with us as black men and black women and why we're at each other's throats. And, um, we need to clean it up. We need to do better. Um, that's all. I just had a couple thoughts tonight and I wanted to share. I'm trying to do more YouTube and be constructive and, and get in the, in, in the swing of this a little bit. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know what topics you'd like to hear about. And um, I'm happy to try to oblige. You guys have an amazing weekend. God bless you and keep you. Bye-bye now.